Hi, I'm Matilda and I'm a certified clinical aromatherapist. I'm also a trainer for internationally accredited aromatherapy courses. So if you would like to pursue aromatherapy professionally or would like to deepen your knowledge in this area, do check out my link in the description down below to find out more about the courses that I teach. This channel is set up to empower women in health and wealth. So if you like the topics that I'm sharing in this channel, do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of all future videos. Today, I'll be sharing with you what are some of the best essential oils for menstrual cramps relief as well as PMS symptoms. This is through personal experience and through working with many women who suffer from painful cramps and PMS. I guess this is something almost all women struggle with sometime during their lifetime. So we're going to talk more about what is PMS and really what are some of the best essential oils to get relief. So what is PMS? Now, PMS is a combination of physical and emotional symptoms that many women get after ovulation and before the start of their menstrual period. This usually occurs one or two weeks before the period and it's caused by changes in our hormones, especially estrogen and progesterone. Physical symptoms of PMS can include cramping, constipation or diarrhea, bloating or a gassy feeling, headaches or back aches, swollen or tender breasts whereas emotional or mental symptoms of pms that could lead to behavioral changes during this period of time include mood swings irritability or even hostile behavior tension anxiety depression feelings of sadness or even crying spells and a lot of times we might feel very tired and may even have some trouble trying to focus and concentrate or we might have bad memory sleeping problems is another one so it could be sleeping too much or sleeping too little appetite changes or food cravings as well as possibly less interest in sex before I jump into essential oils, I do want to mention this as well, that diet and stress levels are also big contributing factors when it comes to PMS. So many women these days are consuming too much carbohydrates. And if somebody is consuming too much carbohydrates, it affects the insulin level, which is a hormone that is typically associated with diabetes, but it's also associated with imbalanced blood sugar levels. And so one of the things you want to do diet-wise is to reduce your carbohydrates intake. And um, you might want to go on a low-carb diet for a part of the month. And that means you're not going to consume any grains. You're going to stay away from sugar. And your diet is going to be predominantly a lot of vegetables, plant-based food, organic meats, and healthy fats. And if you do that, that alone makes a lot of difference in your hormones and also keeping stress levels balanced. If you're under a lot of emotional stress, this again causes our cortisol levels to go up and can cause insulin to become imbalanced. So this affects melatonin and that's why you don't sleep well and all this can worsen the PMS symptoms as well. If you like this video that I am sharing, I would appreciate it greatly if you could smash the like button and share it with your friends. Now here are my top choices of essential oils for that time of the month. These essential oils help balance hormones, improve your digestive system as well as keep stress levels low. The number one essential oil that can help balance female hormones is none other than clary sage. Now, clary sage essential oil really helps balance out those estrogen levels. And also, because clary sage has antispasmodic benefits, which means if you are having any of that abdominal cramping, clary sage oil can help relieve that. Now, the best way to use clary sage oil is to apply a few drops on your abdomen, along your bikini line, and lower spine. You can also put a warm compress on it as that will actually help the essential oil to penetrate even deeper into the skin and helps ease the pain. However, if you have estrogen-related medical history, please avoid using clary sage. And if you'd like to find out more about estrogen imbalance, do check out my other video on estrogen in the link above and also in the description below. Next will be peppermint as it helps promote circulation and supports our digestive system too. When you are having excruciating cramps, the deep penetrating action of peppermint oil will really ease the pain as peppermint is analgesic and antispasmodic, meaning it helps to ease pain and cramps. I'd use it the same way as clary sage. 
You may also layer them one layer on top of the other. If you suffer from headaches, peppermint oil is a great choice too. Simply massage it into your temples and scalp. And if you'd like to find out more about the other uses of peppermint essential oil, do check out my other video on peppermint in the link above or in the description down below. Marjoram is the next essential oil that I'd recommend as it is relaxing, calming, and hence helps to relax the pelvic muscles that may constrict, leading to cramps. Marjoram also helps to promote bleeding. So for those of you who have very scanty periods or may be missing your periods, I recommend marjoram as well because marjoram promotes bleeding. However, you want to avoid using marjoram when you're pregnant. Marjoram also helps promote deep sleep. For sleep, you can diffuse 10 or 15 drops of marjoram when sleeping. Another oil that I'd recommend is none other than lavender. Now, lavender is an oil that has traditionally been known to balance the body and to work wherever there is a need. It may help with PMS problems, stress, tension, and sleep. Like marjoram, you can diffuse 10 or 15 drops when sleeping. And if you'd like to find out more about the other uses of lavender, do check out my other video on lavender. Another oil that I'd like to recommend is geranium. For those of you who experience heavy bleeding, very bad cramps, and especially if you have endometriosis, um, geranium is a very good oil to use. Geranium helps to balance hormones as well. But if you have scanty periods, then using marjoram will be a better option. There are many, many other uses of geranium as well. And uh, if you'd like to find out more, do check out my video on geranium essential oil. Last but not least will be rose essential oil. Now, I mentioned earlier that one of the contributing factors to menstrual cramps and PMS is due to fluctuating estrogen and progesterone levels. While clary sage helps to balance estrogen, rose essential oil helps to balance progesterone levels. I'd use it the same way as clary sage and you may layer it along with clary sage too. If you'd like to find out more about the uses of rose essential oil, do check out the video in the link above and in the description down below. And if you'd like to find out more about progesterone imbalance, do check out my video here on progesterone deficiency symptoms and remedies as well. If you like what I have just shared, do smash the like button, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of all future videos. That's all I have to share today. I really appreciate you being here today. So if you like this video, do smash the like button and share it with your friends. Have a good day and a great week ahead and don't forget to check out my other videos.